Hello, folks. <coughs> this is Mr. Optimist Amechi A.K. Let me say that name in full because that is my name. I am here, neighboring states, and I want to use this very opportunity to address TBC community and generally outside TBC community. In fact, I'll be focusing more on those outside TBC community because when I look at what we have in TBC, I feel that we cannot just keep quiet and close our mouth while we are building something as huge as this. We are building an empire. We are building something great. But people need to know it. People need to know because they don't know what they are doing. If you actually move around to talk to people about TBC, find out that they don't know what they are doing. I met one guy the other day and he was busy introducing me to one network. I said, look, look at how this thing is built. How long do you think that this is going to last? He now called me by the side and said, let me, let me reveal a secret to you. Do you know what? I can tell you that this is not going to fall. Or it's not going to, you know. Uh -huh. This thing may likely scatter to the robots. Let me just, if we are among the early ones, the early best now, we can quickly grab what before it falls, before we must have gone with our money and others will suffer it. And I just, I just scratch my head like this. I said, okay, and we are comfortable going on with something like that, into something like that. You are happy that others will definitely lose while you gain and leave the system. Do you have conscience? That is a question. Another issue is that, or another point, some of us are too busy. And that is when we realize the need that our bees being busy, we should equal, we should be busy with equal value and not just being busy for nothing. So that one beware of emptiness of busy life should always be ranking to our mind, to our head, to our brain. Beware of the emptiness of busy life. You are running, you are running around the schedule every day and night, you are trying to. At most, you say it's Nigeria economy, and Nigeria economy is bad. Stop saying that. Nigeria economy is not bad. What is bad is personal economy. <clears throat> because while we are busy saying Nigeria economy is bad, some people are building houses, some people are buying cars, some people are doing so many things with money, and they are in Nigeria. Why would they be doing that if Nigeria economy is bad? Nigeria economy is not bad. It is personal economy that is bad. And when you know that personal economy is the one that is bad, why not, instead of waiting for Nigeria to raise you up, why not think outside the box? Why not get something going with yourself? Yes. And how do you start? You start by doing something worthwhile. And when we know that whatever we are doing, we cannot repeat it. I was sitting down here, or you listening to me here today, Eh? It becomes a past tomorrow. After today, it becomes a past. Whatever you are doing today, tomorrow, it turns out ah, I did it the other day. That's it. So, what are we advised to do? If really to follow things up and work things the way they should be and be proud and be happy. A journey of a thousand miles only begins to start with a step. We are advised to write down our goals. After writing down our goals, we are to seek mentorship in that line. Those people who are already in that line. And when we find them, we need to stay connected with people along that path. And staying connected to specific plans to achieve them. That is, we need to be consistent. If we are consistent in what we are doing, that is only when we can say, ah, I worked this thing and it really worked. But if we are like flies, we pay here, we pay there. Ah, this business is coming, it's very good, we jump. The other business is coming, ah, we jump. The other one come. At the end of the day, we just become jumpers. We just end up, ah, 
do this so I did that. You may not have anything. In fact, you won't even have anything because you, you remain confused. Because anyone you hear is that ah, this one is happening with John. The other one is happening with John, 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 John. Master of none. So people need to be consistent in what they're doing. And that is why in my TBC business, I can't tell I wouldn't say that it's easy. Anything that is it is not worthwhile if you, if you don't see if you, if, you, if you can't put the needed strength, if you cannot put the necessary effort to get things going, if it is easy, <laughs> it is not easy, my dear. It's not easy. Let us tell ourselves the simple truth. But try to do that which so many people are not doing. I was listening to one woman the other day, and uh, yes, someone sent that video to me, and I laughed. The woman was actually, instead of talking about mommy, she focused on how men can take care of themselves. She just created a niche for herself. All her preaching whatsoever was focused on men. That you should not, for any reason, suffer yourself to the end of the day, that at the end of the day, what you just get is you fall down a stroke, and you rest your children and your wife there. Why you are trying to help them? Why you are trying to support them? Don't forget yourself. She just carved a niche for herself. That is by the way. So what are we talking about? We are talking about TBC opportunity. People are not getting us right. Not because we are not saying it's right. Just it's because of preconceived and a closed mindset. Tell them that business like this, that when you come into TBC, it's an opportunity for you to get versatile. Both in crypto world and in fiat world, you make money by following up with the needed, the, 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 the laid down rules and instructions. And they're asking me, if I come today, how much will I make tomorrow? <laughs> how much will you make tomorrow? As if you were, were you giving birth to today? You've been doing that of how much you make tomorrow, and that is what has kept you where you are till today. So, friends, we need to be aware of the emptiness of busy life. We have this, uh, let me, this issue, or do I put it here? Hmm? Four poor, four poor, yes. How do I put it? Okay, let's say you are one rich man in the midst of four poor men. As time goes on, that rich man in the midst of the four poor men will end up becoming why? Because all that they will be singing to his hearing day in and out is ah, how unfortunate life has been for them. I did this business and before you know it, this happened and uh, uh, my wife uh, did this and uh, my children jumped first and uh, um, the house fell. Everything about their life is filled with poor mentality. In fact, unfortunate incidences. That is what poor men discuss about. At most, I can do. In fact, yes. What else can we do? Come, let's go and take four bottles. At least, I'll forget about it, Joe. If a rich man, no matter how you may try to convince these people that this is like this, is like that, say forget about it. I've tried it. It never works. And it's not going to work. So, friend, forget about that. And if you, a rich man, continue to make friends with such people before you know it you are going to wear the same uniform with them <laughs> so that is the point but if one poor man is in the midst of four rich men the reverse with time is also going to be the case with time that poor man will become a rich man because the discussion that will be going on between those rich men. We, ah, I had this business. How did it go? Okay. Oh, how are we going to do this? Okay. Ah, this is where I'm going. Are you ready with me? Okay. Can we? Okay. That deal that you struck the other day. How much did you realize? I, I think why was it? Okay, uh, they keep on talking about something that really, you know, inspires. At the point, the poor one will say, "Am I not really stupid?" These people are making something around here. Then, with that now, the poor man will now try to see how he can pick up. And once he pick up, that is it. So many people get confused or 
confuse themselves, thinking that they are going, they are just, they are waiting to just stumble into a world. You know, you don't stumble into a world. All you can stumble into, you can stumble into a lot of cash, but no world. World needs structure. And when you build a structure with world, that is lasting. But when you talk about, hey, you just stumble onto the big money, before you know it, that money also flies out. But when you have the proper laid down structure for wealth, that is wealth that is transferable. You see wealth growing. And that is that kind of wealth we, that we have in TBC community. So when we are trying to help people to come into TBC and for them to really see what we are doing, those who still have the mindset of jumping into cash. We are not after jumping, we are not going to jump in, uh, yeah, after jumping into cash. We are building wealth structure. And that structure is what we are building. So we are building wealth that lasts in TBC. We are building wealth that is transferable. We are building wealth that abundance in nature. Okay? Let's discard the idea, ah, I put myself into God's hand. God has created us, okay? And we are putting ourselves back into his hand. Putting ourselves into God's hand, do we really understand? If we put ourselves into God's hand, that means God will be doing everything for us. He has given us all that is needed for us to do and get there in life. So why not prove him right that yes, you have given us all that we need to make progress in life. So we should learn how to get, keep going, okay? We should learn how to work on things and let it work for us. We should start making friends <coughs> or moving out with those who know where they're going in life. We want to help people to understand that what we have in the TBC community is very huge. But due to their poor mentality, they are not seeing it. But if we realize that Staying or spending much time with them is going to drag us down. We move. Okay? So, folks, I usually tell people that anything you are doing, you don't need to do it half heartedly. Anything you are doing, come out open. Let people know you that you are not afraid of what you are doing or that you are not ashamed of what you are doing. Let people know that. You are convinced, yes, and when they know this, even if they are not ready to do it, at a point, they will say, let me give this a try, this guy knows what he's doing. So our persistence works. In case you are still afraid of PTBC, instead of being afraid or hiding, or when you hear a lot of money is mentioned, you say, ah, this one is too much. That is just what scarcity mindset has placed on us. Let us stand up and jump into abundance as it will be found in TPC. Because we are here to do something reasonable. We are here to do something great and we are already doing it. So folks, let us make friends with those who are wise enough to direct us on the right path to do. It's not just about being here, money, money, money. Some people will then continue to send you text messages and they are praying for you, they are doing this. Let people know that prayer, everything has their own places. Let people know that you struggling and striving to make yourself comfortable and be able to do some certain things you could be able to do, that you're not going out of the way, okay? That you're doing what you're supposed to do. Let people realize that we are here to make difference. To make a difference. And let them know that you have not gone north, that you're still with your senses intact. By so doing, they'll be able to realize that you know what you're doing and you're not ready to give up. So, I remain myself and itching. Let us continue to try and help others who don't know what it is to so really appreciate what we're doing. And when they do, they remain ever thankful. So, thank you so much for listening. Always know that we are building a community and we don't give up easily. Thank you so much. See next when we discuss. Bye for now.